Good morning, everybody. This is Damon Bond, the Bond Realty Group, a licensed real estate broker in the states of New York and Connecticut. I hope everybody is doing well. <clears throat> Hope you had a nice uh, relaxing or not relaxing Thanksgiving, whatever tickles your fancy. Uh, hope your holidays will be good, uh, the upcoming holidays, and hope everybody's well. Sorry, uh, I've been a, um, away for a while. I'm not way out of state, but just working. That's why I haven't, um, you know, done anything in a, in a, in a little while because I've been busy between teaching and uh, teaching real estate classes, that is, and assistant buyers and sellers. It's been kind of busy on my end. Uh, but I'm here today, so um, if there's any questions, uh, you can always email me at dbond. 011 at gmail.com. That's dbond011 at gmail.com. Or you can always give me a call. My number is 203 394 8123. Um, email will probably be better because sometimes I get bogged down with, you know, voice messages or anything like that. Um, but I will get back to you when I can. All right. So <clears throat> I was just thinking about some things. And today's topic I want to talk about was just about the whole, I just want to talk about you know, preparing to get a home, to buy your home, <clears throat> whether it's your first one, a second, whatever it is, uh, primarily your first one, though, uh, in 2018. And the reason why I'm, I'm choosing this time now to speak upon this is because a uh, simple fact is between Thanksgiving and New Year's, uh, Americans are going to be spending billions of dollars. Uh, these billions of dollars are going to be spent on goods and services, all right? So whether it's a service such as, you know, flying out to see family and friends, which is always a good thing, or buy presents for a loved one, which is also a good thing, uh, money's going to be spent, all right? Uh, we recently had Black Friday, um, you know, and that was a mad rush, what have you. So I'm basically just going to say, use some of that money, all right? Don't get carried away. Use some of that money for you to purchase your next home in 2018. Now, this is also a crucial time because psychologically, psychologically speaking, this is when people, um, you know, decide, okay, they want to buy a house in the spring or summertime, psychologically. You can actually buy a house anytime, but psychologically speaking, people like to do the spring or the summer. So if that is true in your case, you need to start making preparations now. So several things you could do, right? And I'll outline these point by point. Item number one you could do now is... Uh, start saving some money. Start saving some money, 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 money. Um, you know, don't. I mean, presents are nice, but don't get carried away on presents. After all, remember, uh, Christmas is not about presents. Christmas, after all, is a religious holiday and is about you know devotion to family and friends and you know all that good stuff. So don't get carried away. Don't blow it. Um, your relatives are not going to like you, and your friends are not going to like you any less. If you give them one present, that's inexpensive, as opposed to a plethora of presents, which are expensive. And if they do, um, you know, you can't get rid of your relatives. It is what it is. But, you know, that's OK. And, if, you know, your friends get mad. They're not really your friends anyway. So you got to think about you. So that's the first aspect. Um, start saving some money now. Don't get carried away. If you already booked your tickets because you got a good deal, you know, to go see them, that you can't put a price tag on that. Go ahead. But just take it easy as spending. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this. Re review your credit now. Review your credit now. Review your credit now. I emphasize that point because don't wait until, you know, April, May, June comes and then you want to review credit. And you have to wait, you know, a little bit longer. Review your credit now. Review it now because... Uh, if you wait till the last minute, there may be some problems. So you want to review your credit now for a couple reasons. Number one, you want to make sure that you are credit worthy enough to get a house. Now, what is credit worthiness? You can actually get a mortgage, all right, um, an FHA mortgage. And I emphasize what FHA was in one of my earlier videos. But if you want to know what it is, this, you can always email me. But you can get an FHA mortgage for as low, with a credit score as low as 620, believe it or not. All right. There are people that who can actually get you a mortgage for a 580. Now, I don't want you to get no 580. I'd rather you have a higher credit score. Naturally speaking, the higher your credit score, the easier it is for you to obtain a mortgage. It's going to be easier for you to obtain a mortgage. And you have a better interest rate. Right. But as low as 580, you know, um, and 580 usually just to have, you know, get something from the landlord notarized saying, yeah, you've been good with your rent, you know, the time you've been, you know, living in the apartment, living in a unit. All right. But ideally, an ideal score. Well, put it like this: the low score is uh, the low score is um, you know six twenty. That's the low score on a spectrum. Credit score six twenty is good. Um, ideally, you want to be in the seven hundreds. That's that's like you know op, you know ideal. And of course, optimal would be eight hundred or above. All right, but that's what you want to look at. So you want to look at six twenty and above, preferably. So you want to do your credit now. If you find that your credit 
is um you know below let's say 620 or whatnot you can work on your credit you can make inquiries onto your credit um you know to the bureaus you're entitled to three free credit reports a year meaning what meaning that you um can request uh, a credit report from transunion experian and equifax three per year all right and what i would do is <clears throat> I will look at I will, I will look at all three credit reports and go through your credit reports, right? If there's any derogatory stuff, I would fix it. Um, you know, and it's very easy to do now. You can do it online; it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, the credit score itself will cost you some money. Uh, I've seen credit scores. You, you, want to, you want to get your, what's called your FICO score, F I C O. I forgot what the acronym stands for, but it's your FICO score. So I would encourage you to. Um, pay for your FICO score is worth it. it. I've seen it any anywhere from seven dollars to twenty dollars. All right, but you want to get that FICO score, and that FICO score, you want the numbers to be up there. So if something falls short in your credit, you want to be able to fix it. All right, I'll give you enough time. You wait a few months, and those points will come up. So that's one reason. Now, if your credit score happens to be good on the on the flip side, then I'd say don't wait until you know. Um, uh, springtime or summer that's when everybody's gonna be looking for a house look for a house now all right so go to a mortgage person right they'll run your credit again but it's okay there's nothing wrong with that and then you'll have that pre-approval in your hand and you can start your search you know you can start your preliminary search with a real estate agent so that's what you do so so far we have um you know hold on to your money as much as you can you want to uh you know check out your credit and, and so forth all right the third thing you want to do is Pace yourself. Don't feel rushed to buy something, right? Listen, 2017 is almost over. We're approaching 2018, which it may take you really do I find people. I love those clients who will get a house. The first house they'll see, they'll put an offer for, right? Just make sure you get a house before the end of the new year. <laughs> because remember, you could, if, you, if you bought a house December 30th, right? You know, December 31st, you know, 2018, right? You're going to get credit for the house. You know, you're going you're gonna, to, it's, it's good for taxes. So, so that's fine. All right. So, um, yeah, so just. You know, take your time and searching for and searching for a property. All right. When you um when you have an agent, right? When you hire an agent, if you will, an agent works for you, that agent is gonna have you sign what's called a buyer's rep agreement. Buyer's representation agreement. Now in the states of in the state of Connecticut, this is required, right? This is mandatory you have to do that. In New York, you know, I know some people don't do that, but you want them on a the buyer's rep. And buyer's rep are important. This is how real estate agents get paid, and this is how you become embedded with a real estate agent. Now some agents won't have you do it, and that's wrong because you can't show other people's, you know, property, you know, other agents' listings without signing that thing. So it's imperative. So if they ask you to sign a buyer's rep, um, people, you know, they're not trying to trap you anything. Yes, it is. It is legally binding. However, you can always get out of the buyer's rep. You know, you just say, I don't want to work with you, and that can be canceled. So that's no big thing. But this is what it is. Um, and is is the law. So with that said, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, just keep these minds. So 2017 is coming to a close. Take it easy on the funds. You know, improve your credit. If it has to be if your credit is if your credit is good is up there. Don't open up any new accounts. Don't open up any new accounts. Don't open up any new accounts. Do not open up any new accounts until you close on that house. All right, because each time you open up a new account, that means that you know you you are willing to take on more debt. And banks and mortgage companies don't like that. So if your credit is fine, don't open up new accounts. Don't co-sign for anybody. All right? Don't co-sign loans, whether it's student loans, auto loans, cell phones, whatever it is. Do not do that as well. All right? Um, just be village, uh, uh, village, I can't talk right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a long morning so far. Um, you know, in terms of... Um, in, in, in terms of paying those bills, if you've been paying your bills on time, good. Keep it up. If your credit is below what it should be, what would you like it to be? You know, take tackle those bills one by one. This is a this is a great time for you to you know hit those bills up. You know, psychologically, if you have credit cards, just do the credit card. You know, whatever the you know lowest balance is for one. You know, it'll be easy to pay off or whatever the high interest one is. Whatever it may be, whatever your formula is, but you can do that. And the time to do it is now. So once again, if you have any questions, email me, dbond011 at gmail.com. You can always give me a call, 203-394-8123. 
Um, I hope this information was helpful to you um, because, like I said, homeownership, you know, is, is, is good to do. It, it makes you feel a part of a community. Um, you know, there's certainly tax, you know, breaks from it. If you have a family or something, you can leave down to your kids, you know, once that mortgage is paid off and what have you. Um, yeah, so just, just keep these things in mind. And I hope everybody's well. Be well. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.